but the way it looks is like y'all running from everybody that's coming on. You got to have a little discipline, a little decorum. Let people speak, bro. Y'all ran from YK the truth. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, sir. All right. It says genetics of race and ancestry. And Jason, just in case. Now, what do you notice about this? He's not sharing the entire page. So he can make excuses. Well, I can't share 30 pages, but you can share the entire page. He intentionally left out this part of the article. Remember that something has ancestry in Africa, DNA, 85%. Why don't we see this part of the book? Why did Aboriginal TV leave out valuable information and just cherry picked this small part? The name of the book is Race Does Not Equal DNA, right? So I went to the source and the source doesn't agree with Aboriginal TV. None of these pretendians sources ever, ever, ever agree with them. He goes and gets Joseph L. Graves, an evolutionary biologist who believes that all humanity originates from Africa. 85% of the genetic variation in our species, anatomically modern humans, is found in sub-Saharan Africans. That means that if an asteroid hit the Earth tomorrow and wiped out all regions of the world except sub-Saharan Africa, 85% of the genetic variation of our species would still be here. Okay? And that's because the people who left had a shorter period to accumulate new mutations compared to the people who stayed. But yet this is who he uses to debunk DNA. Where do they do that at? Let alone Joseph L. Graves says you can use DNA to trace your origins. This is why I asked the brother, where in that article does it say you cannot use DNA to trace your ancestry? If you can't do it, that means you're reaching. You're reaching. You want to play these word games with race and use an evolutionary biologist and take it all the way out of context because that's what you did. Let's play the video. This comes from... Uh, race does not equal DNA. This was written. Um, I'll drop the source for y'all in the chat if y'all would like to see it, but I want to just go ahead and make this quick. It says, genetics of race and ancestry. We've determined that biological races in the human species do not exist. They cannot be determined by either physical or genetic measures, okay? So every time y'all keep saying the DNAs tell y'all that y'all is a, a, a ethnicity, or race, you're not being scientific. You're being pseudo and you're practicing a religion of genetics. You niggas traded Jesus for DNA, okay? What we think as of races are fine, once again. So if you say the DNA test is telling you you African or Nigerian, guess what? Those are social constructs created by man and has no reference whatsoever to biology or science. This is not what I'm saying. This is what the geneticists and the scientists are saying, okay? This is what the evolutionary biologist is saying. The same guy who said humans, humanity comes out of Africa. So if you're using him as a source and you're cherry pick picking his information, you also have to use the part where he say, you wasn't already here, bro. You was not already in America. I don't know why these pseudos 
keep using sources that don't agree with them. I'm going to show you. All they do day in and day out is get beat up by their own sources. Okay. Once again, they cannot be determined by either physical or genetic measures. What we think. And I'm going to show you in this same article where he says it can be done. Of as race are socially assigned sets of characteristics that change depending on the context. This does not mean that there is not geographically based genetic variations found in our species. Hey, it simply a means. Hey, give me a minute, Nico. Mic check. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. yeah, we can hear you, bro. Somebody oh, came okay. off the mic. Okay. But, see, oh, okay. And now he got a. Yo, yo, yo. Hold up. Watch this body. This is from a set of American racial subordination. We know from ancestry genetic studies, for example, that the flow of European genes into African Americans occurred mainly during slavery, primarily through European men forcibly impregnating enslaved African women. This is because the genetic code. See, this is what happens when cherry picking goes wrong. See, this is why they got to get YK off the panel. Because they know I'm not going to let you cherry pick and get away with it. No, get him out of here. He a three-time loser. Get him. You scared, bro. You a scary engine. Because you know. That cherry picking shit ain't gonna work. You're not gonna be able to uh, make it to where you only see one part of it, and then you still slipped up and fumbled the rock because it still shows that they use ancestry genetic studies that showed the flow of European genes into African Americans. So grandma thinks she got Cherokee in her. She really got the white man. This is a body bag. You're getting beat up by your own source, and I didn't even go to the source yet. I'm still letting you use your own cherry pick shit. So imagine when I get over there to the big screen. Can y'all hear me? Yeah. yeah, we can hear you, bro. Somebody oh, came okay. off the Look at that. Indeed, all modern day humans living today are descended from those who once lived in East Africa, Ethiopia. This is your cherry pick book. So all you aboriginals, you have to hold, you have to hold it, hold this L because you wasn't already here. All humans come from Africa. If you want to cherry pick evolutionary biologist and say he's qualified. You're going to get beat up. This is what happens when you don't stand on truth. You get whooped with your own sources all the time. Okay. But, oh, okay. And here's the source right here for y'all. He fumbled. I, I, all right. I, I, you fumbled. Oh, in case y'all think I'm, hold on, let me back it up a little bit because I'm a little close. Yeah, you know why you was a little close? You was a little close because you wanted to zoom in on the part you had to cherry pick. Now you want to share the whole stream to look at the title of the book. But you didn't do that when you was cherry picking because it would have shown valuable information that people would have said, look, it says humans originate in Africa. And then you wouldn't be able to have that shock treatment like you, you did. It would have failed miserably. It says race and DNA. Okay. This was written by Joseph L. Gray. Now look, he don't want to go down. He want to stay right there where it's safe at. And it's See, that's why he keep going up and down. He don't want to do it. You cannot connect social. He want to keep it right there. So you just see that part. Two constructs to science and genetics. So if it's telling you that you are Native American. If it's telling you you are African, these are social constructs. Now let's get to me. Free real info. Nah, that person a qualified. It's my first Free time real. on the panel. But yeah, um, I got a question for the brother who just shared that source. 
is that person a qualified geneticist and where in that source does it say you can't trace your ancestry using dna it doesn't okay so you're asking me for something that i didn't show okay once again i showed that this person has done an assessment and i showed who it was no you showed an opinion or a claim you didn't show how it couldn't be done you just shared somebody say it well you can't do something but we want to see how it can't be done was so you can go and do the research on their genetic right. background of course I, I i did and i found out that there are they are an evolutionary he's an evolutionary biologist and genetics human genetics is a very it's branches of this thing What do you specialize in? He could specialize in fruit flies. Now, this is Joseph L. Graves. And let's see what he specializes in, right? It doesn't say nothing about human genetics. Okay? It does show me what he specializes in. Show me the number of articles. This man has wrote, written about DNA. His past research has included examination of evolution and physiological performance and flies, often called fruit flies. Bruh, that don't mean he's qualified in ancestry and genetic testing. This is a whole different field. And I was about to beat you up on it until A1 came in and saved you, brother. Their reference on <clears throat> whatever their background is educationally based. What I show is a specific source that shows that you cannot use social contracts. It didn't show. It said it. It's a huge difference between showing something and having somebody say something. Now, if you would have shared the whole screen, we would have seeing what the context of it was but because you didn't even share all of the information you just cited a quote you you gotta you're gonna fall on your sword like african okay. like nigerian like all these no other no hold on brother you no what you hold on brother what you hold on brother what you just hold on brother what you just did was you cherry picked a book you went and found a small passage out of it and didn't read it in its entirety. That's exactly what you did. You cherry picked it, brother. This is what y'all do. Because you don't have anything to stand on. Find a Pan-African that's going to share a source that doesn't agree with what he's saying in its entirety. You don't find many of these videos. But what you do find time and time again is pretendians getting beat up by their own sources. Over and over. Countless videos. That's well, called actually, actually, Hold actually, on, brother. Okay, let me so finish. Let me finish. Hey, let me stop, finish, stop. brother. Don't let yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. You gotta let them finish. You gotta let them don't finish, let though, brother. They ask the question so, as well. He, he can't tell me what I just did based off. It's 10 people on the panel. I can't read a 30-page book and reference and show you exactly how this leads up to it. This but what you can do is show the entire screen and not a small part and leave out a whole page. That's what you could have did. Like the people are stupid where they don't see you got a small part highlighted. What are you trying to hide, bro? What are you trying to hide? Oh, you trying to hide the fact that your evolutionary biologist says that humanity originated in Africa and not the Americas, which means by default you wasn't already here. Is that what you wanted to keep from the people? This is this, this is a, a concise description based off a source that you can go look up. This ain't a description. This is somebody saying something, and not you not using the information. You're doing his work 
a disservice by leaving out all of his real information and cherry picking a small part. You know, he said that. He said, y'all do that. Joseph L. Graves said in one of his videos that you guys love to take the race thing out of context. He said this. And, and, and figure out the background around it. It stated specifically a specific topic in which we address. You don't get to come on here and then say, well, you didn't show the whole the whole book. That was the point. No, you didn't show the evidence. If you make a claim, you got to show the evidence to back the claim. We, we're not appealing to authority over here. Oh, because he an evolutionary biologist and he says that that's fact. No, show the work. Show the work. Point was to address the topic about DNA and whether you can utilize it as a reference or a way to tell who your origins of your ancestors are. That was it. Now, don't try to come up nope. here and try to paint the net of I didn't show or I cherry pick. It's 10. All right, hold on. Now, now let me address that. Very quiet. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Once again, don't are run. You don't, all right. Look, so let me address that. Sir, are you with the source that was presented, right? Go and do your research about the source. Okay, and then all right. Of course, I'm going to do my research about the source. <laughs> and the source demolished you. The source debunked you. And the calm the calm down, brother. Calm down, because I know... He's starting to run. <laughs> I know your heart is racing. Calm down. Now, all right, I now let me... Read. Cool. Now, based on what you showed, I didn't see a doctor. I didn't see a PhD. I didn't see anything. But somebody that said, you cannot use DNA to trace your race. Now we're talking about ancestry. We're not talking about somebody creating a word race. We're talking about to show if you're from America or are you from Africa? There you go. Are you from America or are you from Africa? And based on your source, the whole in humanity, humanity originates from Africa. And how do they know? Based on DNA. Based on DNA. So, moment of silence. Let me do that again. Moment of silence. For the pseudo. Humanity originates from Africa, according to your source. See, y'all like to play these word games. Well, race. No, we're not talking about race. We're talking about your ancestry. Do you come from America or do you come from Africa? And if you have markers that... Hold on, brother. Afraid. Let me finish. And if you have markers that show you come from dumb. Africa, you wasn't already... Now, he said, show show the screen so I can look dumb. So he about to pull up an ev a evolutionary biologist who specializes in fruit flies. Right? But I got you. I got you. Yeah, brother. Throw that away. Share my screen so I can get him. So, so he what can do, look What do ancestry, what's the definition of ancestry? So he can stop. So they trying to, they trying to, uh, they trying to help him, brother. Somebody come get him. <laughs> so he can stop talking over himself and looking dumb. Share my screen, Sarnetta. Joseph L. Grades is an American evolutionary biologist and geneticist, right? He is a professor of biological science in North Carolina, right? But does that mean he's qualified in human genetics? Now, I wanted to share my screen, but I'm I'm, I'm going to share it. I'm going to show you what I mean, right? Let's keep going. Share my screen, Sarnetta, so you can get YK to fuck watch out. Now, watch this. Please. I got him. You just body just go. You just body just Share this screen, Yo, yo, one at a time. I got the screen sharing, brother. Hey, real quick, Sarnetta, after he answers his question. Okay, we don't want now this says no Joseph L. Graves. Hey, real quick, Sarnetta, after he answers his question. Okay, now this says Joseph L. Graves. And yeah, he comes down my channel. He's a beginner. We don't need him. Look, now they trying to, now they trying to um discredit me. Because that's what they do. When you can't beat him, you got to discredit him. Oh, we beat him up. He's a degenerate. He's this. He's that. They running. 
I smell a fear in the room. Hello, Mike Check. One Mike at Chick. a time, y'all. It's one mic. Chick. Yeah, it's one mic. Yo, but you know, you know, Sad knows this. He's he know that the the tension is starting to thicken, and he he sees the panic in these Aboriginal. He feels the panic and the fear. But the way it looks. It's like y'all running from everybody that's coming on. You got to have a little discipline, a little decorum. Let people speak, bro. Y'all ran from YK the truth. No, we didn't. No, yes, y'all did. did. The brother was saying, get, get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah, I, and I did. And I told you why hey. I say get him out of here. Nah, but you got to let you one, gotta one, let the one, brothers one, bring one, the questions, man. Joseph L. Graves. Joseph L. Graves is an American evolutionary bio biologist, bro. Get the fuck out of here. He's an evolutionary biologist. He's not a human geneticist. I'm going to break it down to you. The difference between the two, because I'm, I'm, I'm tired of people trying to compare Rick Kittles to other biologists, all right? Rick Kittles is an American biologist specializing. Key word. What do you specialize in? Human genetics. What is human genetics? Is the study of the inheritance as it occurs in human beings. Classical genetics, cyto cytogenetics, molecular, biochemical, population. It's broad. And when you're dealing with this, you're talking about genes, okay? This is what Rick Kittles specialize in. Genes, people, all right? Let's keep, let's go back, right? At Morehouse School of Medicine, he is an African-American ancestry, right? Now look at his look at his credentials and look at his work. You see what I'm saying? Kittles was one of the earliest geneticists to trace ancestry of Africans through DNA testing. Kittles has performed a large amount of research, including publishing over 160 peer reviewed articles. Okay, he's been doing this for a long time. He specializes in human genetics. Genetics is very broad. So when you show me an evolutionary biologist, they are not the same. The difference between a Joseph L. Graves and a Dr. Rick Kittles, like I mentioned, just because a person is in a field doesn't mean they, they specialize in it. It doesn't mean they're qualified in it. You won't get any lawyer just because he got a, he's a lawyer. One lawyer spe, um, specializes in lawsuits. The other one, criminal, rape, whatever. They all are not the same. You don't oh, no, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Hold on, brother. Because the... Wait, you're not going to get... Hold on. Yo, stop. Stop. Hold on. Stop Check this out. You, bro. He's Damn, a... Hold on. He... Bro, hold on, bro. Hold on, on, bro. Look, they running. They running. Bro, one mic, y'all. One, one, one mic. Hold on. One Everybody one hold up for a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Every... See, so I feel it. He knows. I'm about to... I'm about to... I'm about to get him. He know where I'm going with this. Everybody hold on for a minute. Top Cat just said... Where are the shooters at? I want the smoke. We want the smoke. So now the shooters are coming in. Y'all got to allow them to talk. Yeah, they running. They running. They running. They running. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So stop. Hold on, he's a geneticist of what? Because just because you saw a biologist, is he a population geneticist? It's biologist. So if I had a lawsuit, right, I'm going to go get any lawyer just because he's a lawyer, right? No, I'm going to go get a lawyer that's qualified in the lawsuit. So just because you show me a biologist or a geneticist, and what? It's, that's very broad. Exactly. 
And I wanted to share my screen. I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about, yo. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show you the difference because they do that when they when when you whenever you hear DNA is for entertainment purposes only. They show a, a molecular biologist. They never show a person that's qualified in the field. All right. They always go and find some biologist or some some weirdo. But let's let's go. Hold on. So Sorry. now go back. Go, hold on, bro. Hold on. Let me finish. Is Rick yeah, Tittles is Rick Tittles an American evolutionary biologist, bro? No, he's not. He's not an evolutionary biologist. And I'm gonna explain it too. Rick Kittles is a population geneticist. He deals with okay. ancestry. So, hold, 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 on, hold on, on bro. Sir. Don't let me let me finish. You know how, Calm down. Hold on. Do you know how you, you become run. a geneticist, bro? Do you know how you you have to go through the goddamn field of biology? You know that, right? But biology is broad. We are dealing with genetics and ancestry. I'm going to let me I'm going to show you, bro. I'm going to teach. Now, if I, if if I would have never left, I, I could have taught the people that. But a one of them, they got afraid and all of that. I was going to share my screen and show you, brother, the difference because you were confused, little abo. And I'm going I'm trying to help the confused little abo. Right. Yo, Sha, can I, uh, Sha, can let me share my screen real quick because I'm not going to let these dudes run from the smoke tonight. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, that's it's a, getting that's good. Great. It's getting good. It's getting good. That's what I'm talking about. Sarnetta. Sarnetta, he's a three-time loser. See, he's a three-time discredit the man. Discredit him. That way, nobody won't take him serious, bro. I never lost any of those debates. The debate that I had with Aboriginal Power, I mopped him. He came with two sources. An encyclopedia and and some other pseudo site, and he didn't prove that there was pyramids all throughout America. The other Indian I mocked this is his name is Zab. He used Chat GPT, a site that's limited on their own source. They say it's limited, but yet he uses a limited site to prove that DNA is a hoax when his site only said that it was limited. It didn't say DNA was a hoax. So by default, this guy lost. But these abos are so delusional that they believe in any, they believe in fairy tales. Look at the polls on my video. Everybody say that I won those, that debate. Now, if you're dealing with a biased community, people who deny DNA and people who believe they was already here, though that's bias. These dudes is holding on to bias polls. So now they're trying to discredit me to get me out of here because they're afraid of the work they running. We really don't want to answer no yeah, questions. Just lost we really don't want to answer no questions from him. All right. Hey, YK, YK, they don't want to answer no questions from you, brother. This is they show tonight. So I look at South Face. He like these niggas is scared to death. <laughs> got to honor that because I did tell him that. So, brother. Rob, YK, too. Look. Rob two, get rid of yeah. Rob now. Yeah, I don't want Rob one. Nah, yo, yo, no, stop. Hold on, stop. Oh, hold on, stop. 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 Hold now we're gonna get to this source, right? And beat the ghost of Aboriginal TV up. I'm about to, I'm about to turn him into a ghost. It's going he, he is gonna be a ghost when I finish. Let's get it. Let's look at the cherry pick article in its entirety, right? Let's go down. Let's see what he left out of his cherry picking. Right? Now here it goes right here. This is where he left out. He said, indeed, all modern humans living today are descended from people who once lived in East Africa. The oldest modern human fossils come from Omar, Kabish, and Ethiopia. Humans did not populate the rest of the world until about 60,000 years ago. All right. 
So you wasn't already here. Nobody was already here. The whole world originates from Africa, according to your source, right? Now, let's read this. This is what they leave out. It is true that all modern human populations have genetic differences that reflect adaptation to the environments their recent ancestors inhabited. There are also genetic changes that resulted from simple chance events. Have you ever heard of the term genetic drift? Okay, so we know that genes can be altered based on the environment of your recent ancestors. So those that can give you, help you find out your ancestry, right? Now, let's show, let's see what he left out of this cherry picked book. To understand biological genetic ancestry, you must recognize that the number of biological ancestors you have doubles each generation into the past and rapidly become a very large number. Every living person has two parents, four grandparents, eight great grandparents, and so on. A standard calculation of a human generation is 30 years. If your family arrived in North America at the time of the Jamestown landing of Africans or the arrival of Mayflowers, that means your ancestors have been on this continent for 13 generations. All right. This also means you contain from that time to now to genetic material from as many as 8,192 individuals. So why are you Indians talking about one grandma? Oh, I got one grandma. She Cherokee, full Cherokee. You have about 13 generations. It's 8,000 people. And that estimate doesn't even begin to touch the number of ancestors who came before your genes arrived in North America. Now, this is going to beat the pseudo up all the time. This is why they cherry pick. Although it is not possible to determine, to determine someone's social defined race by examining DNA. See, they like to play semantics. It is possible to estimate the continental origin of different segments of an individual DNA. Remember that all of us have deep ancestry in East Africa. All of us. <laughs> Beat him up with his own source. This means that about 15% of our recent DNA could potentially be differentiated by continent or region within the continent. No single genetic marker is going to be a reliable estimate of ancestry. So statistical methods such as maximum likelihood are used to make estimates of persons' ancestries. Now we're going to get more into it because what y'all fail to realize, if you was already here, you shouldn't see any African ancestry. This is what y'all fail to realize. None of your ancestors should be from Africa if you was already in America. So even if the estimates are off, you still got a whole lot L body fault. Ironically, Ancestry studies have revealed a great deal about the history of American racial subordination. We know from ancestry genetic studies, for example, that the flow of European genes into African Americans occurred mainly during slavery, primarily through European men raping enslaved African women. These are things that you left out of your cherry picked book. This is because the genetic code on the Y chromosome is inherited intact from father to son. From father to son. Numerous ancestry studies have found large numbers of European Ys circulating in the African American. And guess what? And formerly enslaved communities, but not vice versa. Guess who? 
Rick Kittles. Many people wonder when their results come back and one of these lineages is European, does it mean that they're 100% European? Uh, the answer is no. Remember, African Americans are very mixed in terms of ethnicity and ancestry because of the experience of the transatlantic slave trade. And so immediately upon arrival here in North America, uh, there was a lot of mixing going on. And so we see remnants of that in the DNA of African Americans. A lot of men, uh, when they test their Y chromosomes, get a little nervous because, in fact, 30% of the Y chromosomes that we test of African American men are of European ancestry. And so many of them get upset or, or, or they are concerned when the match comes back European. You know, I've, I've heard many men say to me, well, I'm very dark skinned or I'm African. You can just look and see, uh, but you told me that I'm European. What we told you was that your Y chromosome goes back to Europe, meaning that there was a European male in your family lineage. And that was part of what we see on your Y chromosome. Finally, there has been much interest in using ancestry tests to try to reconstruct lost identities. This was part of motivation behind a very successful PBS series, African American Lives and Finding Your Roots. So, they even said that Louis Gates, your source, says that Louis Gates' American Lives and Finding Your Roots was highly, very successful. DNA ancestry testing has some ability to achieve that goal. So long as one is cognizant of the limitations of the method. So, DNA is not a hoax. You got beat up by Joseph L. Graves. In the 21st century, we understand that humanity, or our modern species, okay, separated from these archaic humans quite some time ago, before 200,000 years ago, and then most of our time as a species was spent in Sub-Saharan Africa. And so recent estimates are that humans didn't leave Sub-Saharan Africa until about 70,000 years ago. But the way it looks is like y'all running from everybody that's coming on. You got to have a little discipline, a little decorum, let people speak, bro. Y'all ran from YK the truth. No, we didn't. No, yes, y'all did. The brother was saying, get him out of here, get him out of here, get him out of here. And I did, and I told you why hey. I say get him out of here. Nah, but you gotta let you gotta let the brothers bring the questions, man. No, this the Aborigines, bro. We don't run from no My bad, I want to really. Yo, Zap, pull up. I want to apologize. Zap, don't pull up. Come over here and get on the panel, They gonna go run when I pull up, though. Zap, come get on the panel over here. That was the reason that the chat, the shit went to shit. Yeah, yeah, don't get on the panel over there, yeah. Zab. Come get on the panel. Yo, Zab, over here. you gonna pull up or you gonna ride? Yeah, no, nah, come over here. You somebody go in the chat over, over there and tell yeah, Zab yeah, to come yeah, get on the panel yeah, over here. Hey, hey somebody, somebody go, bro, like, yo, somebody psycho, somebody go over there in the, in the chat and tell Zab to come over here and get on the asked, panel. I should. But the way it looks is like y'all running from everybody that's coming on. You got to have a little discipline, a little decorum, let people speak, bro. Y'all ran from YK the truth. 